mutations. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. I've been so inactive, but I've been planning so many videos and editing, and I want to edit to the point where I think it's at least half decent enough to put out for you. I want you to be entertained. So basically the backstory on this hair, I spent $143 for it. Yes, I did. And this shit felt synthetic. I'm not even gonna lie. And I messaged the buyer and he, look at that, 100% human hair. Oh my God. Wow. I was so mad, but I made it work, you know? I did my little magic on it. And they gave me some bullshit lashes, you know, fake, obviously. That shit was plastic. I could put it together with, with two hands. <laughs> that was that. That's my face when I seen the hair. So after you get your shitty hair that you spent almost two hundred dollars on, you get a nice big pot and you boil it just a cup of water and you heat it. This isn't. This is to the point where I like the water to be where it's kind of boiling but not really. Once it starts to boil up, you can move to the next step, which is basically getting your favorite conditioner. I happen to use Pantene, but only on my wigs, not on my actual hair, because you know, I'm natural. <laughs> yeah, but so I take my Pantene conditioner and I just throw about a couple pumps in the pot and I let it boil up and it starts to look like that. After the water boils up, I add three bottles of dye. These are the dyes I decided to use. You can find them at a beauty supply store or Walmart. That was my sister, she's a hater, so please ignore her. But anyways, this is like my favorite part because this is the part where I, I put the hair in the pot and I get the dye all over it. I'm using a fine tooth comb and I'm kind of stirring the hair in there just so that way I can get all of the dye on the hair. And it's kind of difficult, like this was probably the most difficult time I had dyeing hair. Like The other times I've dyed hair it wasn't that hard, but this one... I just couldn't get the purple to be dark enough to the way I wanted. After I dyed it the first time, I washed it out with cold water and that's what it looked like. And I didn't really like it, I thought it needed to be more purple. And so I decided to put it back in the pot and dye it over again. But this time... I used more conditioner and I also added more of the darkest purple dye, that dye that I just showed you right there, and then more of the violet. And I made sure that I mixed it in so that I got an even purple. And then I put the hair back in and it still wasn't really to the purple that I wanted, but it still looks good and so I just kind of left it like that. I figured out later that the issue was that I wasn't letting the hair sit in the dye for a while because you're supposed to let the hair soak in the dye for five minutes, but I forgot. So when you put the hair in the pot, make sure you leave it for five minutes.
here, your family. <laughs> oh my god, we're so cute as puppies. <laughs> <laughs>